Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while, but the incredibly mediocre clip at the very beginning of the video will hopefully explain why there's been an absence of videos here on the channel. I don't know what came over me, but I randomly got the motivation to finish up Dark Matter here in Black Ops Cold War. Before this past week or so, I had assault rifles, submachine guns, and shotguns finished, but I still had a super long way to go, and I decided just to grind like 4 to 8 hours a day to finish up everything, and man, was it painful. I didn't play Modern Warfare, so I can't really speak as to how difficult the mask is camo was. Hopefully some of you guys can fill me in down there in the comment section. But here in Black Ops Cold War, some of these challenges are just sheer pain. Like, 50 long shots with the thumper, which, mind you, the long shot range for the thumper is the same as a light machine gun. So... That was painful. We had to destroy three different vehicles in the game in ten different games. And let me tell you how nobody drives vehicles here in Black Ops Cold War. I shit you not, I spent the past six hours last night floating in the sky in Fireteam Dirty Bomb with Engineer on, waiting for anybody to jump into a snowmobile or a tank, right? That's pretty much all I did for like five straight hours just to do those challenges on the RPG and the Thumper. That was painful. It was easy on the Sigma because, of course, you can lock on, but when it comes to the Thumper and when it comes to the RPG, it was a little bit more difficult. That was not fun whatsoever. The knife sliding kills were really annoying randomly. You would think it'd be easy, but for some reason here in Black Ops Cold War, you lose all of your aim assist while you're close to somebody, so sliding at them makes it so you basically can't hit them. And then best of all, I had to get Dark Matter twice. Right? I had to actually redo Dark Matter. I'm not sure what happened, but I got Dark Matter last night, and then when I signed in today to get some footage for this video, the final double kill for the Tundra was still locked, and I had to do it again. Initially, I thought I would try to replicate what I did back in Black Ops 4, because what I did back in Black Ops 4 to unlock Dark Matter was actually kind of cool, right? I saved one final five attachment kill to hopefully hit something cool to unlock Dark Matter, and I ended up getting a no-scope wall-bang headshot across the map with the Paladin. I wanted to do something similar here in Black Ops Cold War, though honestly, I can't be asked to do that, because after mindlessly grinding Nuketown and Fireteam for the past week, I just was ready to be done. I saved one final double kill for the Tundra, hoping to kind of hit something cool, but after about an hour trying to do that, I was just like, no. Right, I was hoping to get like two no-scopes across the map, or maybe like a no-scope across the map followed by a quick scope across the map, or maybe go for a double kill while on a vehicle of some sort. Like, I wanted to do something really cool, and then I hit that double kill on the Snowmobile I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm just, I'm done with this. I'm ready to finally see the fruits of my labor and actually have dark matter and just be done with all of these challenges. And fun fact, for some reason, if you build your sniper rifle for hip fire, it appears that your crosshairs are incredibly close together while riding on a vehicle. So perhaps the sniping community is already aware of that. But if not, if none of you guys are aware of that, well, now you know, and maybe some really cool stuff can be hit as a result of that information. But overall, I'm just really happy to be done. I have seen some people say that dark matter is not worth it in this game because they think it's not that good looking but i think it's because most people actually prefer the classic black ops 3 version of dark matter that we can get in zombies but for me it's all about the prestige of it all right when people see my camo in matches they're going to think i'm twice the loser that they initially thought i was and that's what makes the grind all worthwhile i do actually plan to go for dark aether but i'm going to spread it out over the course of the coming year with black ops cold war because i don't know how anybody can just grind all those kills and all those camos on the one zombie map that we currently have. Once Firebase Z comes out on the 4th, I'll definitely get some more work done towards Dark Aether in Zombies, but for right now, I'm just happy to be done with all the multiplayer weapons here within Black Ops Cold War, and if I'm being honest, I do think that the camo itself looks good, and it's not like a confirmation bias or anything. I thought the camo looked good before I was going for it. In the menus, it looks pretty bad, but in-game, it looks a lot better, depending on the lighting and so on and so forth, and there are still some issues, and I don't know how Treyarch hasn't fixed this yet, there are still some issues where in certain guns, the camo only covers a portion of the gun, depending on the attachments, and that's really stupid, because that issue does not exist with all the other base camos in the game. Those all just work, but for some reason, gold and dark matter only cover a very small section of certain weapons, again, depending on attachments, so hopefully they get that resolved soon. I'm going to start spam tweeting them about that or something, especially now that I have dark matter. I was content to kind of wait for them to fix everything, but now that I have it, it's like, alright, guys, it's been like almost three months. Can we finally fix this? But now I can finally turn my focus to actually enjoying Black Ops Cold War, which I think is a good thing. I'm not going to be focusing on like, you know, light machine gun headshots or pistol long shots or running around with a knife or the thumper or anything. 
anything like that, trying to shoot down stupid UAVs with the RPG. I can just fall that behind me now. Dark Matter is done, and I'm very excited about that. And I would like to say that I do see a lot of people making videos how to best expedite the Dark Matter grind, but I noticed that a lot of these videos are like 15 minutes long for a single challenge, and frankly, most of that video is just filler. Now, there are some good ones out there. I did find some good ones. I actually think Exclusive Ace put one up the other day, but too bad he actually put it up after I already did all the Thumper long shots, but some videos are good, right? But a lot of them are very bad, so the idea that I have is I've done every camo challenge here in Black Ops Cold War, so I think for my next video, I'm going to make a no-nonsense, no-bullshit, no-filler guide as to how to best complete every single weapon here within Black Ops Cold War, and I'll even put a bunch of timestamps in the description of that video so it can be a one-stop shop for every weapon and every weapon category, full of tips and tricks and everything I've learned during my mind-numbing grind to DM Ultra here within Black Ops Cold War. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that pretty much is going to do it for this short little update video. I just wanted to explain the absence of videos and live streams here on the channel. And now that Dark Matter is finally done, we're going to be going back to normal. I expect videos on the normal schedule going forward and expect live streams to happen pretty much every single night like they were before over on Twitch. If you guys haven't checked out the Twitch channel, I highly recommend it. We stream pretty much every single night and it's always a pretty chill time. So hope to see you guys over there tonight. But once again, expect a full Dark Matter guide to go up here on the channel soon. But until then, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did consider leaving a like thank you all so much for listening and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day